Hi, this is Jeff Curto, and welcome to episode number 83 of Camera Position, a podcast about the creative side of photography. Well, the first thing I'd like to do is congratulate the three winners of the Aperture Software Giveaway, uh, the uh, software that I uh, had three copies of to be given away to the lucky winners from my random.org uh, sort of random drawing. And the three winners were Roger Walton and Mark Darrow and Rebecca Bryant. So congratulations to Roger and Mark and Rebecca. One of the things that I thought was kind of fun was taking a look at the sort of international audience we have here at Camera Position that uh, in sending out the software packages to everyone, I discovered that Roger is a citizen of the UK. Mark is a U.S. citizen but living in Rwanda and Rebecca is a U.S. citizen living in Georgia. So we have this rather international audience, and I know that we've got people all over the world listening, but really nice to know that uh, everybody's out there in, in uh, podcast land. Uh, if anybody wants to take a look at the way the random.org uh, drawing played out, right there on the cameraposition.com blog page, you'll find a blog post for the Aperture Giveaway winners, and you'll find a link there to random.org, and it gives the details of the drawing. So if you entered and you uh, want to know, why didn't I win, gosh darn it? Well, that's because you weren't randomized. Sorry. Uh, so uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll have some more giveaways coming up. I have some other things in the hopper to, to do uh, relative to that at a future time. So Golly, I'm I'm looking back through uh, the email I get, and again, I get just an awful lot of email. And one that I got quite some time ago, it turns out I now know this person uh, quite well, but did not know him at the time, uh, Marty, who uh, is a uh, uh, guy who came along on last year's uh, Tuscany Photography Workshop, Marty Grassi, and just an outstanding guy, one of the one of those people you just can't... Uh, can't believe your good fortune to have him along as a traveling companion and a photographic companion for a, a week in a beautiful place. So um, he wrote me a, a, a note some time ago, and um, he said he was visiting a Josef Karsch exhibition at the Boston Museum of Fine Arts and was struck by a portrait that uh, Karsch had made of Audrey Hepburn. And uh, he uh, remembered the words that I oftentimes use, and I'm sure that regular listeners to the podcast will remember hearing me talk about something called a desert island photograph. Um, and um, he said, I, I wonder if you'd be willing to do a desert island photograph podcast and invite listeners to send in their desert island photos. So um, this episode of Camera Position will actually be a, a fairly short one because here's what I would like to do. I am going to solicit from, uh, from the podcast uh, listening audience out there anybody who would like to submit to me a desert island photograph. So let's sort of, first of all, think about what a desert island photograph might be. You know, and I, uh, again, those of you who've been listening along for a long time probably have heard me refer to a number of desert island photographs. And over the years in producing camera position, I've talked about things like uh, Paul Caponegro's Two Leaves, Brewster, New York, and Paul Strand's uh, uh, the family in uh, Luzara, Italy, and <laughs> golly, just about anything by Eugene Ace would make my desert island uh, photographic list because the guy was such a master at figuring out where to position the camera. So I am intrigued by the idea of a desert island photograph. And again, this would be something that one would take along with them to that desert island to be able to sustain them visually. You might have desert island records you'd bring along to records dating myself, uh, CDs or MP3 files uh, to bring along to, uh, to to listen to. But what would you bring along with you to look at? What kinds of visual resources would sustain you over time? So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to send me your desert island photographs. And I'd like you to send me your desert island photographs uh, one per person, just one desert island photograph per podcast listener. So uh, don't inundate me with a hundred desert island photographs, each one of you. But I'd like to have each one of you who is interested in contributing to this and uh, send me uh, your desert island photograph with uh, a paragraph or, or so, you know, maybe 150 words or so. 
uh, about why you think this is a desert island photograph for you. What makes this your desert island photograph? So send these to me at jeff at jeffcurto.com, jeff at jeffcurto.com, and include in the subject line uh, desert island, desert island, and so that I can filter them out and make sure that I don't lose any and make sure that they all go in a spot where I can hang on to them. So uh, you can put the description, your, your 100 words or 150 words. You know, don't go over maybe, I don't know, don't go over 150 or so words just so that we can get more people's commentary in. So uh, uh, send me your picture and a short description of why this is a Desert Island photograph. Uh, to Jeff at jeffcurto.com and what I'll do once I compile them and I'll let's uh, let's say let's give this through the the end of January 2010 um, so um, you know somewhere in the beginning of February I'll go through and compile and we'll see how many we get it might be <laughs> it might be so many we need to spread it out over two or three podcasts but we'll find out how many I uh, I get. But the Desert Island photograph, what is it that is uh, will sustain you and what kinds of pictures do the people who are out there in uh, camera position podcast land, what are the pictures you value? And it doesn't have to necessarily be a photographer we've heard of before. What is a Desert Island photograph for you? And uh, send those to jeff at jeffcurto.com, subject heading Desert Island, and with uh, somewhere around 100, 150 words describing why this is a Desert Island photograph for you. So there's your assignment. Uh, it's the beginning of a new term for me in my uh, scholastic life, so I will uh, give uh, give you guys an assignment out there before uh, the, the school term starts and before I start giving assignments to my classroom students. And uh, thanks to Marty Grassi for coming up with this great idea of uh, a Desert Island island photograph collection and we'll see how we uh, how we go so send me a jpeg it doesn't have to be really big you know maybe six six nine hundred uh, pixels or so on the long side is about as big as it needs to be and uh, uh, see if we can uh, come up with uh, a collective idea of what desert island photography might be what we'd take with us to sustain us visually if we were trapped on a desert island. So I'll leave you with that nugget at the end of this episode of Camera Position, and I'll be back shortly with another episode of Camera Position, the podcast about the creative side of photography. Camera Position is a proud member of the Photocast Network, your photo resource in the potosphere. PhotocastNetwork.com